everyone. Let us see the summary and some more details about George Rika's play Indian in this video. George Rika was a popular Canadian writer. He was a short story writer, novelist, poet, radio and television dramatist and film scenarist. His period is marked between 1932 to 1987. Rika was born in 1932 at Deep Creek in northern Alberta to poor Ukrainian immigrant parents. Indian was his first play which was performed on television in 1962. It describes the sufferings of Canadian Indians. For his themes and special techniques, he is known as an unschooled Shakespeare. The Ecstasy of Rita Jo is his masterpiece. He died in Summerland, British Columbia in 1987. His home has been turned into an arts and culture center which is called George Riker Center. Indian is the first play written by George Riker in 1961. The important characters of this play are the first one is Indian. He is the hero of the play. He is a very poor homeless Canadian Red Indian laborer. The next character is Watson. He is a farmer and the employer of Indian. Next character is Agent. He is a civil servant. He works as a field officer in the Indian Affairs Department. Another one character is Alphonse, the son of the brother of Indian. Some other passive characters in this play are Sam Cordinal and Roy, the co-workers of Indian, Wade Bosman, the employer of Indian's brother, Joe Bush, Tommy Stone, Johnny Stone. These are the false names used by Indian to confuse the agent. These are the names and characters used in this play by George Rika. The title of the play Indian denotes the native Canadian Red Indians, that is, the North American Indians. After the discovery of America, the European settlers occupied America and these native people were driven by them to the extreme north to live in cold places. After the European settlement, the plight of North American Indians in their own land was very miserable and pathetic. The European settlers enjoyed all the resources of America and exploited the native Canadian Indians. The native people suffered under the suppression of European settlers. They became the masters of the native Indians. The Indians were forced to live in tents and huts in their reservation. In this picture, we can see the model of the tents of Indians in their reserved areas. One day, the tents of the Indians where the protagonist of the play lived got fire and all their dwelling places turned into ashes. Now, the Indians who settled in tents lost their tents too. The homeless Indians, that is, the Indians who lost their tents in fire, left their settlements and moved to other places. But our Indian, the protagonist of this play, didn't go anywhere. And as usual, he comes to work in the field of his bossman, Watson. Here I have to mention one thing, that is, Indians portrayed in this play are not the natives of our own country, India. The word Indian is often misunderstood as settlers from Indian subcontinent. We might have thought that these native people may belong to our own country, India, and they might have gone there and settled. But it is not true. They are the original inhabitants of America. Canada is a country which is situated in the northern part of North America. In the context of Canada, Indian denotes the Aborigines, 
that is the natives are inhabitants of america now we can see the summary of the play in the beginning of the drama indian is sleeping on the earth facing the sun watson his employer is coming near near the indian he shouts at indian and asks him about sam and roy the co-workers of indian the indian replies they are not here they might have run away and has informed watson of the recent drunken fight of sam and roy and the burning of their tent in the course of the conversation watson says to indian that alphonse the kid of indian is in watson's home and he threatens indian and saying to him that if you run away after your friends from here i will take my gun and shoot and make a big hole on the head of your kid alphonse Moreover, Watson insists him to work real hard and be a good boy. Then Watson informs Indian that the agent of Indian Affairs Department visits Indians today, and he insists the Indian to tell him if he has got any complaint and not to any government guys. Though Watson asks him whether there is any complaint. the indian describes about the cheap quality of indian whiskey which is sold for indians then the indian asks watson to give something to him to eat watson condemns the indian saying that you can lie down and die but not in my field saying that watson moves off from that place before leaving watson said you are working for me if you got any complaint you better tell me now for which indian wittily replied complaints for me i am happy boss saying that watson moves off from that place after watson leaves the place a car comes towards the indian and the agent from the indian affairs department gets out of the car he asks the indian about the burning of the tents of indians last night indian replies that everything is okay now and he begins to complain about his own life when the agent notices that the indian is wearing small boots he asks are in those boots tight i suppose you stole them the indian replies that he has got those boots by winning poker then when the agent asks about the shirt the indian is wearing the indian says that he has stolen that shirt from his brother when he was sick and dying the agent by hearing this laughs and asks the indian his name the indian refuses to say his name to the agent when the agent threatens the indian of filing a report on him the indian very innocently says how you are going to report me when you don't know who i am or don't know my name in the course of their conversation the indian becomes eccentric and behaves strangely and unpredictable he challenges the agent to hit him when the agent replies i got nothing against you boy what's the matter with you what do you want from me the indian tells him that he wants nothing from the agent and he asks the agent to listen to him narrating how his brother died he tells the agent that his brother died few years back and still his treaty payments are received by his friend by hearing this the agent shouts there are laws in the payments there are laws in the country nobody escapes law on hearing these words indian becomes furious and says i tell you about my brother i tell you everything then you tell me if there is a law for all men now the indian threatens the agents and narrates the tragic story of 
how his brother died indian says that his brother was working in a farm and his white boss man ordered him to dig a well he said he would give 1 dollar for every 5 feet down his brother dug 20 feet and when digging he got into the canadian blue clay mud when his brother was trapped he was pulled out by sam another native he was saved but left to be useless he was too near dead to live his white boss man gave him only 3 dollars instead of 4 and took a dollar for the shovel that he had left in the hole when the brother is brought back to the home he became a living dead in course of time his legs and arms dried to the bones one day he calls indian and says go to another side of the lake tomorrow and take my wife and my son alphonse and help me to die then indian says to the agent that i killed my brother in my arms i hold him i get my hands tight on his neck and squeeze and squeeze i know he did then he says to the agent that he has stolen everything his pants and shirts and finally buried him under his tent when his brother's wife knows this she leaves alphonse with indian and goes to live with every man who has her to forget him then the agent asks his brother's name and indian says different names such as tommy stone johnny stone sam cardinal to confuse the agent the agent tells him that he will send police to arrest him on hearing this indian shouts with fury saying that all indians are same nobody i nobody i not even live in this world i dead you get it i dead i not just dead i never live at all suddenly he becomes mad and says that he would choke him like a rag in his hands or hit him with with his hammer then he shouts one brother killed another brother why 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 on hearing the arguments of the indian the agent with fear breaks off and runs off stage towards his car the play ends with indian picks up hammer and driving post vigorously the title of the play indian denotes the native canadian red indians or the north american indians the indian the protagonist of this play acts as a representative of all canadian nameless homeless indians It is a story of every man who lost their identity and life in their own land due to the dominance of external forces. Thank you for listening.